What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, where I share tips and tricks on how to become a successful content creator. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to start a content creator business from scratch. Whether you want to make videos, podcasts, blogs, or social media posts, this video will give you the essential steps you need to take to turn your passion into a profitable business. So let's get started. The first step to start a content creator business is to choose your niche. A niche is a specific topic or category that you focus on such as gaming, fitness, travel, or beauty. Choosing a niche will help you attract a loyal and engaged audience who share your interests and values. It will also help you stand out from the crowd and differentiate yourself from other content creators. To choose your niche, you need to consider three things, your passion, your skills, and your market. Your passion is what you love to do and talk about. Your skills are what you're good at and can offer value to your audience. Your market is what people are interested in and willing to pay for. You want to find a niche that combines all three elements so you can create content that you enjoy, that you're good at, and that people want to watch. Some examples of popular niches are gaming. You can create content about your favorite games, such as reviews, walkthroughs, tips, or live streams. Fitness. You can create content about your fitness journey, such as workouts, nutrition, or motivation. Travel. You can create content about your travel experiences, such as vlogs, guides, or recommendations. Travel. You can create content about your travel experiences, such as vlogs, guides, or recommendations. Once you've chosen your niche, the next step is to create your brand. Your brand is your identity and personality as a content creator. It's how you present yourself and your content to your audience. Your brand includes your name, your logo, your slogan, your style, your tone, and your values. To create your brand, you need to think about what makes you unique and what you want to be known for. You want to create a brand that reflects who you are and what you stand for, and that resonates with your target audience. You also want to create a brand that is consistent and recognizable across all your platforms and channels. Some examples of successful brands are PewDiePie, the most subscribed YouTube channel with over 100 million subscribers. His brand is based on his humorous and sarcastic personality, his gaming content, and his catchphrase, Brofist. Joe Rogan, the host of the most popular podcast in the world, The Joe Rogan Experience. His brand is based on his candid and controversial opinions, his diverse guests, and his slogan, Powerful. Gary Vaynerchuk, the founder of VaynerMedia, a digital marketing agency, and a social media influencer. His brand is based on his entrepreneurial and motivational content, his hustle mentality, and his signature V. James Charles, the most followed beauty influencer on Instagram, with over 25 million followers. His brand is based on his makeup skills, his creative looks, and his phrase, Hi Sisters. After you've created your brand, the next step is to create your content. This is the most important and fun part of being a content creator. This is where you showcase your passion, your skills, and your value to your audience. This is where you express yourself and your brand through your content. To create your content, you need to consider four things. Your format, your quality, your frequency, and your promotion. Your format is the type of content you create, such as videos, podcasts, blogs, or social media posts. You want to choose a format that suits your niche, your audience, and your style. Your quality is the production value of your content, such as the audio, the video, the editing, or the writing. You want to create content that is clear, engaging, and professional. Your frequency is how often you create and upload your content, such as daily, weekly, or monthly. You want to create content that is consistent and reliable so your audience knows when to expect it. 
Your promotion is how you market and distribute your content, such as using SEO, hashtags, or collaborations. You want to create content that is discoverable and shareable so you can reach more people and grow your audience. The final step to start a content creator business is to monetize your content. This is where you turn your passion into a profit and your hobby into a career. This is where you make money from your content and your audience. To monetize your content, you have several options, such as advertising. You can display ads on your content, such as banners, pop-ups, or pre-rolls, and earn money every time someone views or clicks on them. Sponsorships. You can partner with brands or companies that are relevant to your niche and promote their products or services to your audience and earn money for every sale or lead you generate. Subscriptions. You can charge your audience a fee to access your content, such as a monthly or yearly membership, and earn money for every subscriber you have. Products or services. You can create and sell your own products or services, such as merchandise, courses, books, or coaching, and earn money for every customer you have. And that's it, folks. That's how you start a content creator business in 2024. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of content you create or want to create and what challenges you face or need help with. I'd love to hear from you and support you on your journey. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Hello, YouTube. Thank you for watching my video. I really like it, and I know you enjoy it. It's me. You just listened to me, but my voice was very little clun, right? So I wanted to deliver this content to you with a voice that is very engaging. And I really want to record this video at the end of it and to build the connection with you, uh, my audience. I know you visiting my channel, you're watching my channel. I want to add this uh, to it so I can, you can know that it's me. It's my content. I built it. I created myself. It sound like me, but in a little bit more aggressive way so you can listen to me. So visit my channel. Again, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn the notification on. So next time I load a video, uh, you should uh, you should get a notification. I try to load a video every other day, and uh, I'll load one more video. To, I'll load this one today, so you will see it and watch it. Please continuously come into my channel and help me be an engaging creator. I want to create those things that you like. So if there's a specific things that you really like you to see. Please comment below in my uh, uh, under my video, and I really will engage and create that content for you. You know, I also went through the entire process of creating this business myself, so I know exactly what it is. I want to build that connection straight to you. There's a lot that has to go into it, and I want to make sure that I am bringing everything clear, neatly to you. Uh, content as a connection to you to start something and I will build more content to for you so you can understand the step-to-step -step guide of how I did it, how I got to where I am, right? Uh, recording to you and what, ha what have I invested into it to get to where I am. I think that's what is very important to me and that's the reason I want to add this portions to you so you can see exactly and hear exactly from me on how I have done it. This is my content and there's nothing to add to it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.